Hi, everybody. <laughs> These are getting ridiculous. What did he do? He used a calculator to calm down. What? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back to Hustle Cat with Chaos Counseling. What is happening? Okay. I think it's this part that I yeah. explain. Yeah. I hear the gentle clack of ceramic and ceramic and prop when I open. Hazel set a cup of coffee. I uh, set a cup and saucer in front of me. I think you've got a better idea, but here's a cappuccino if you need it. Just the way you like it. Aww. I'm going to get swirled by you sooner or later. I'm just trying to be nice. You don't have to try very hard. You are. Or what? <laughs> nice, He's like, what do you mean? And cute. That's oh, it. okay. <laughs> I'm cute. You're pretty cute too. Aww. Mm. That reminds me of the scene in Tales of Symphonia, where Genus is trying to compliment Perseia. Oh, geez. Like you're p p pretty, Perseia. It's like, well, you're p p pretty too. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Granted, the joke there is that Persea doesn't know what that means. Yep. Yay, Symphonia. Mm hmm. I'm so exhausted. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a minute. I feel the couch shift next to me, and he's is there. He puts my his head on my shoulder. I don't bother opening my eyes. If I keep them closed, I'll forget all the other stuff. Ten ah! hours I shoot awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it knocked? Did he come right through the front door? Can a witch just come in uninvited? Or is that vampires? Aha! It's Mochi's arrival! Oh. And Mochi comes and he just kind of stands there like, What is this place? Why haven't you brought me here before? <laughs> eh. She had interview you knew to me and in something. Oh, look at her. She thinks she can be so smug just because he sent her that kiss selfie. You're interrupting my sleep, that's what. You know what I mean? Finley, you're impossible. <laughs> I hear a faint snort next to me. Hayes is laughing too. Traitor! <laughs> I can't be mad. I'm glad our stupid blustering took enough pressure off him to get him to laugh. Aww. Enough me too, for just a second. Finley kind of did some good for both of us, I guess. I see movement in front of the cafe, is it? No. There's too many people for it to be knocked. Anyway, no that hat anywhere. That's not. It's recent Landry, back already with graves. Or what used to be graves. Now he looks like a forgotten statue, for flaking up bits of rust off as they haul him up on the sidewalk. Are the hands glowing? It's going to get a better look. Oh, they look like garden gloves? Glowing garden gloves? Wee! So they brought Fla uh, Hayes, uh, yeah, Graves back. Graves and back. They brought Flace uh, back. Yes, yes, I am a statue. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, mean I know the two of us have learned a thing or two. Though we're hardly experts. I guess we'll do the best we can to teach you, though. Speak for yourself. You can't teach me anything I don't already know. Wait, yeah. Reese, how do you know so much about this? <laughs> I've learned a thing or two in my time. He acts like an old man. I'm not assistant manager just because I'm good at accounting. One day, Reese will be on your route. I just don't know when that is. I have no idea what kind of magic you've been learning, Avery. But I won't let you steal the spotlight. But I don't even know what your magic is, bruh. I will, I will beat him. Haven't you been listening? Nope. He be graves. We gotta team up and come up with a plan. Um, <clears throat> we fight alone. He picks us off. We all jump in. We got it. We have a chance. See, Mason gets it. Well, what do you propose? Haven't you ever cram studied before finals? We'll do that using the tried and true gray method. Boom. Uh, we just come up with this battle plan. It's yes. great. The final uh, countdown. If I ever need comfort. Oh, no, again, the skip button is weird, so you're just gonna have to let it go. Yeah, I was like, not sure if I was trying to read the dialogues. Like, is that different? Yeah, so ah! I, in my mind, I was like, maybe if we go through it twice, people will know when it's new and when it isn't. But you caught on real quick that you're like, no, we've seen this. <laughs> yeah. You, that's impressive. Okay. This is, no, stop, stop. This is new. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, so the no, skip will even skip Air even bar. if we have a se if we have seen it. Yes, uh, I, well, that's what I've been trying yeah, to say. Yeah, that's what you've been saying. Yeah. <laughs> so um, start with Hayes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I can go get Dracula. Oh, I better get her so she doesn't... I better get her if she doesn't like anyone else. Uh, okay. He shrinks like he's been scolded. I give him a little pinch in the arm and he jumps in place. He looks at me alarmed, but softens when he sees my smile. Mm-hmm. I'll get Mochi. He likes me. The only thing Mochi likes is canned food. <laughs> he disappears upstairs. He scratches and holds his hand out toward Mochi. He beckons with his hand. Has Mochi accepted him? <laughs> Mochi actually goes to him. Oh my gosh! He comes when called like a puppy. What? <laughs> I told you he likes me. Cats like quiet people. <laughs> this is so unfair. My own cat likes my boyfriend more than me. <laughs> Haze turns a bright shade of pink. I guess I hadn't called him my boyfriend yet, but it feels right. This means something. Judging by the way he's holding back a smile, I don't think he minded. Hmm. He might. Fucking say anything! <laughs> I'm oh, like insert Finley. Just, oh my god! It's so good. Oh, that was fantastic. The look Finley gives me. She's jeez. What? She should be called Slender Finley. Oh jeez, just. I settle into the couch and squeeze my eyes shut. Fake sleep drifts in and out of real sleep. The sounds of everybody milling around their assigned duties becomes background noise. Landry and Reese stand outside, soldiers in front of a palace. The height difference between them would be cute under other circumstances. <laughs> Pinky on the brain. <laughs> Finley raises her voice from time to time as she chases cats around. I hear Hayes and Mason trailing behind her. Nope, this is all Okay, I was just like... Uh, yes. I tune everything out. It almost sounds like a normal work day. Almost like Graves could walk back through the door and... If this was a normal work day, Graves would never show up. Touche. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Guys, Just what the relax hell? for a second. Then quiet. Just as quietly, Hayes settles next to me. I don't even bother opening my eyes. It's so quiet. I can hear the anxiety churning into my stomach. That is not a fun feeling, my, my dude. I'm so sorry. If Knox doesn't kill me, waiting well. Maybe he's not coming. I try not to be too optimistic about things like this. You try not to be too optimistic about anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, shut up. Maybe we should go find him and get it over with. Six against one. Between all of us, I think maybe we all equal one witch. I don't think that's enough power. If what Rhesus was saying is right, I mean, because I, well, I don't know anything about this. Who says it's about power? Maybe if we come up with a good enough plan, we... I hear some noise outside, like <laughs> scuffling and shouting. <laughs> Ping! The noise of a metal bat hitting the asphalt. I shoot up from the seat. That's not metal on asphalt. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <gasps> he hit the back of the couch. Oh, that's hard. Karma rough. hit him really oh. hard. Mm. Uh, what? It's him. It has to be him. I have to go help Reese and Landry. I limp toward the door. He's just quickly at my side. Don't rush into things, Avery. I think I'm... I think Reese and Landry will be fine. They're strong, so... His voice dies in his throat. I feel a pain in my chest about towns outside. Landry and oh Mason my are gosh! Knox is there. Bat swung over his shoulder like he's posing for his baseball card. Ass! I want to swing it and knock his head off. Oh yeah, I gotta come actually with, up with All the voice. Alright, jerk lord. Enough's enough. Now you're talking. Glad we found ourselves a deal, kitten. Let me state my terms. I think it was downright dirty graves to give my property away. So why don't we do this the right way? You give me the cafe, and I let you go home nice and mobile. Night clean and unrusted. Did you ask Landry and Reese politely too? 
Look how it worked out for them. Would have loved to, but they charged right at me. Little Reesey just dove in with guns a blazing. Pardon the expression. Ain't wrong to defend myself, is it? But I got nothing against making arrangements. I don't know if I said this last time, but this music sounds like it's from Metroid Prime. <laughs> I just hear Doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not such a bad guy, you know? Think it's too bad we're seeing this from opposite sides. Like hell, I'll negotiate with you. More's the pity, as they say. Your sweetie over there don't seem the fattened tap, but he looks fit to jump me if something happens. Now I'll tell you, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta, but I'm not keen on rusting someone that pretty. My heart drops to my stomach and I whip my attention back toward the door. And he stands behind me. When did he come outside? His hands are balled into fists and his arms are trembling. But here he is, stands wide, ready. Just, just, just try it! I know magic too! Magic! That rat? I think Graves knew some, some about that too. He swallows hard and I see him falter. I can't lose this to fight. I knocked him right to the floor with him. Literally. Stop bullying him and get to the point. <laughs> Naturally, my point is... On God. He beckons me like this is a damn martial arts movie or something. Well, which is this showy? This obnoxious? This menacing? There's a trash bin by the door. I reach in and pull out whatever I can. There's an old soda I can unravel in fashion of a blade, and a coffee cup and lid I turn into a paper and plastic hilt. Okay, look, it's the best I can do under pressure. <laughs> it's sort of a thin rapier sword of sword. Sort of sword. Which is like the worst possible thing I could use against a freaking bat. I mean, not really. You have more maneuverability, I guess. True, Get under but, that shit. True, but if you tried to block... Oh, yeah, no. Parrying's right out of the snap. option. Yeah. He swings. Trip it with my sword. Dead, but nope. Shatters to tiny, rusty fragments I'm, in my hands. That's not what you do. You dodge and then like stab the trash it was made of. Well, I'm not smarter or faster, I guess. I really rather the way in time to miss getting smacked in the face with a bat. If it had a blade, I would have it would have chopped my hair. <gasps> hey, he's run, just go! Absolutely not! I don't have time for this. Grab another empty soda can and condense it as best I can. It shrinks like I just drained the air from it and toss it at Nox's head. He nodges, but not as fast as I thought I would. Maybe if I keep throwing trash at him forever, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh no. I need to be honest with myself. I need help. A bat! His voice is beautiful and clear. It rings out over the cafe turned battlefield. Knock and I turn our heads towards the source. Haze. Rust it away. Falls from assailant's hands. He can't seem to pick it back up. It's stuck. The gravity of his voice hangs thick in the air. It's more than I've ever heard him sound. It feels heavy. Nox shrugs and lifts his bat. It slips through his grip and clouds to the ground with a metallic ping. Hell nah. <laughs> I'll be damned. What are those, huh? It's like he's forgotten I'm here. He turns his full attention on Hayes and looks and he looks fit to kill. A guy in an orange jacket. His balls fall off. Oh jeez. <laughs> gotta get his attention again. Not gonna get your bat back, buddy. You're the little songbird, kitten. Couldn't if I tried. Ain't no matter. Change things a bit, that's all. Guts turn inside out. Child, this is your reading. <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> Knock the lunches at Hayes. He holds him by the shirt collar. Oh, Aww. fuck! No, his neck! You make magic with your voice, yeah? What do you suppose happened if I put my hands around your neck? Stuck a finger in your mouth. Cause your eyes is to blow out. Would make a real great joke, don't you think? Cause the cat's supposed to get your tongue, but... Well... Graves might have had some trouble now. Uh, uh. I bolt towards him and throw myself at Nox's arm. I managed to get mine wrapped around his, and I drop my entire body weight to get his hands off his. I feel this awful cold in my hands. I look down. And they're turning to rest. I could. 
Let them rest under that stupid body if this is how it's gonna be. He keeps trying to shake me, but I dig my fingers in like claws. Hayes, a poem, please. I never need a poetry mark. <laughs> I hope this works. Ah, um, I hear that verse can dissolve rust. I understand that's no small feat. Within my magic, I entrust this witch of rust I will defeat. He will Huck yeah. snarls he will and throws defeat. me to the ground. I land with a thump, but I leap back on, dragging him down with everything I've got. I feel heavy. Rusty. Let my words become like acid. Corrode away and rust remove. Friends and comrades, return to Placid. Return them the will to move. Or else this will my be completely tingle. flaccid. And I feel hot. <sighs> You're welcome. Hell, I feel anything. I think I see Reese move out of the corner of my eye, but it could be Nox thrashing. Son of a... Away, away, the rust will fall. Stripping bare, Nox wherewithal. <laughs> see, it ain't even good. You never realized quality isn't quintessential. Magic is in the conviction with which you speak such verses. For some, perhaps even you, the crudest words would do. But you've always been terribly impatient with rhymes, haven't you? Craves! In the flesh, uh, more or less. Thanks to Hayes. Nah. <laughs> Craves steps out of the rest like a cicada shedding its shell. He walks toward me and knocks and places his hand on my shoulder. I take the hint. I'm more interested in making sure Hayes is okay anyway. Go. You are neither welcome here, nor do you possess the power to usurp me with my hometown advantage, and four of the best apprentices and adepts in this city. I see Laundry and Ree smooth out of the corner of my eye, but I throw my arms around Hayes instead. He balls his fists around my fistfuls of my shirt. Avery! Oh, Avery, are you okay? Yeah, yes. It's okay. We're both okay. Let them deal with Noct. And do whatever they're going to do. Oh my gosh, you're just taking me out of this store? Bitch! <laughs> I want my cameo! Right now, it's just me and Hayes. We're both going to be alright. I can't believe this. He let Noct to go. Why would he do that? I don't get it. Ray says there's a lot of nuance to the situation I don't get. What I do get, there's too much history and baggage between them. I'm staying out of it. Tries to explain the curse and everything surrounding it, but I don't get that either. Something about double layers of curses, cursing as a magic lesson, blah 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 blah, whatever. <laughs> Sounded like excuses to me. But I'm not gonna like quit or anything. I still like the cafe and I like working there. But I am gonna take advantage of this huge chunk of paid vacation that Hayes and I were given. <gasps> Oh, it's the... Mm, so I took Hayes home. Just for a bit. I'm not moving back to the country or anything. There are a lot of birds here that he's never seen. Aww. <laughs> it's so cute. And we got one of the best wildlife reserves in the region. He's like a kid in a candy store. I never got the stuff before, but now I see the appeal. I'm still more of a cat person. But birds are pretty cool, too. He's been writing a lot of poetry, mostly about birds. He lets me read it. He doesn't say them out loud anymore. We <laughs> aren't sure if that might conjure up a bird or something. It's probably safer this way. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying my hand at writing some poetry too. Aww. How about this haiku? Oh dear, okay. There's a lot of cats. There's a lot of cats, okay. Not allowed in kitchen. Not allowed in kitchen. Wait, what? Not allowed. In kitchen. That doesn't work! <laughs> okay. Health and safety code. <laughs> or this one. Coffee for your face. Coffee for your face. Cats, cats if you, you are into, into cats. cats. That one works. What, what more, more do, do you need? need? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, how is it? Your first one, shit! <laughs> what do you mean needs work? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. You're gonna have to click a few times. Oh, yeah. That's right. Heh. <laughs> so, that's <laughs> Hayes' route. I admit Woo. I liked Mason's better. I really- ah!
Mm. I liked how um, in this route, though, that we got a more interesting magic, in a sense. Just yeah. Word magic's not commonly used. Mm. Well, that's just because I know in most cases where magic is a focus, like action stories, it can become quick broken very quickly. Yeah. So it works better in something like this where it doesn't have to be used offensively until... Much like, later. Much later. I love how, like... Most of the routes like follow a set structure, but in a it's all it always feels like a new adventure to me. Yeah, no, I mean that's I, <laughs> that's why I love uh, visual novels. That's why I have so many. Yeah, because <laughs> I just I like how it's like, okay, here's it's kind of like the same feeling like enjoyment I get out of like games like Mass Effect and Dragon Age, where it's like, yeah, your choices matter, but with this one, it's like, okay, hey, make a choice. <gasps> Look at this whole new world. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we. <laughs> So yeah, that's Hayes's route. Uh, uh, who do we go for now? I don't know. I, well, so so far we so you three are new, so it's been Abby, Sunshine. I guess Luke. Will... Luke's next. So we're going one of your children. Your 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 touch butt. I believe people. I was going. F I picked Findlay and, and Reese. And, and Reese. Okay. Well, no. We'll figure out the later the other ones later. I just yeah. know like the ones that everyone prioritized. So next mm -hmm. it looks like we'll be doing Finley's route. Yeah. Uh, we might still sh uh, shake up the voices. We still haven't gotten the Mason ending like episode out, so we don't know if people want us to change our voices or not. So but we're doing it. We're gonna, do it. We're gonna try and something it, new for a visual and, novel. Yeah, and it, it kind of just nice makes it well, a little bit more fun on our end because it's like, oh, what do I want to do for this character and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Plus, I don't know. I'd say Doppelganger was a very special case. Doppelganger, yeah, was Do incredibly yes. special. Oh so with how long yes. it was, I'm like, okay, I know we're starting the story over, but we we we're, we're these people. Whereas this one, this feels more like a light afternoon sojourn. Yeah, you so. can. It's do a it. nice coffee. Yeah, it's a nice it's tea a nice, time game. It's, it's, it's a good coffee break. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time when we go after Finley. Yay, boy!